digital SAT math flashcards, slant height of a cone. The diagram of a cone looks like this, where r is the radius and h is the height. The volume is equal to one third pi r squared h. And don't forget, the base of the cone is a circle, so you should remember important circle formulas. And all of this you can find on the reference sheet. We call the hypotenuse of the right triangle formed by r and h little l, where little l is the slant height. Like all right triangles, this triangle follows the Pythagorean theorem. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the slant height. None of this is on the reference sheet. In this example, we'll first add the radius and the height to our diagram. We'll then use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the slant height, L. We get a slant height of 17 inches. Pause this video and take a second to write down this example. First, I notice that we are given the area of its base, which we know to be a circle. The formula for the area of a circle only has one other variable in it, the radius. So let's use this to find the radius. We get 4225 pi equals pi r squared. You can divide both sides by pi and then take the square root by hand, or you could solve this equation on Desmos. We see that the radius is 65. Next, we'll take the volume they gave us and the radius we found and plug them into the volume formula. We get 101,400 pi is equal to 1 third pi 65 squared times h. Solving this equation by hand or on Desmos gives us a height of 72. Finally, we're ready to add the radius and the height to our diagram, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Solving this equation by hand or on Desmos gives us a slant height of 97. Pause this video and see if you can remember this important DSCT math concept.